Hi guys, it's Mr. Pollock Biology here with another much requested video, this time on mitosis, and this includes the cell cycle and cancer. This is for AS Level Unit 2 students studying the AQA Biology spec. Here's our objectives for this little video. We're going to understand why mitosis is necessary, describe the stages of mitosis, and recognise cells in different stages of this process. So in my meiosis video, I compared meiosis with mitosis and whatnot. Um, and we said that both of these are forms of cell division. And I like to compare them in terms of copying stages, division stages, how many nuclei we get at the end, and the genetics of those nuclei. So same, same slide again, sorry guys. Mitosis, one copying stage, one division stage, two nuclei produced, and they're diploid, which means they've got the full complement, the full chromosome number. And they're genetically identical um, to the cells that they came from. In meiosis, however, there is only one copying stage, just the same, um, but this time we've got two division stages, four nuclei produced, and they are haploid, the gametes that are produced. So that's the little cheeky comparison, but now we should move on and just focus on mitosis. So why is it important? Well, it produces identical cells um, for growth. It's also used to quickly differentiate, or rather quickly replicate, cells that have differentiated. So you've got a really quick way of producing lots of identical cells for, for tissues, for example, like muscle tissue or blood tissue or nerve tissue or any tissue. It's also really useful for repairing damaged cells. So now we know why mitosis is important, we can go on and look at the five main stages of mitosis. So they are interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Now interphase is where we usually start. This is by far the longest stage of mitosis. And most cells will be in this phase for the, the majority of their life cycle um, in the cell cycle, and then the other bits are really tiny amounts of the division part. So interphase first, prophase, then metaphase, then anaphase, then telophase. And you guys need to know exactly what goes on at each of these stages. So we'll start at the beginning. And to do that, we need a cell. So here's my cell diagram. Um, we should probably just explain, this is very abstract, what are the different bits. There's a cell membrane, a nucleus, the nuclear membrane, the nucleolus, and the cytoplasm. So let's start at the beginning. Let's start with interphase. So in interphase, there are a bunch of little substages. So you've got the first growth phase, and this is where the cell basically produces all of its proteins um, that are going to be used to build the organelles. So that's the G1 phase where the proteins are first made. Um, the second stage is the synthesis phase or the S phase. This is where the DNA is replicated. And finally in interphase we have the second growth phase. And this is where the organelles grow and divide and they increase the energy stores that are going to be used up in cell division in, in the other part of mitosis. So that's interphase, and like I said, this is by far the longest stage. Next up, uh, we've got prophase, um, and we've got a bunch of things happening here. You'll notice that the nucleolus has disappeared. Also, the nuclear membrane is disintegrating, and we start to see um, our genetic information, chromosomes, becoming visible. Um, so here we are. Here's two chromosomes, each made up of two pairs of sister chromatids. Um, really important that you can differentiate between chromosomes and chromatids. Um, it's something that quite a few students fall down on. So that's prophase. Uh, main thing you're going to see here is the nuclear membrane going away and the chromosomes becoming visible. The next stage is metaphase, where the chromosomes line up along the centre of the cell. Apologies for the sketchy animation there. So chromosomes are going to line up on the equator in metaphase. And we get formation of these things called spindle fibres. And the real purpose of these is going to become apparent in the next stage, which is anaphase. So in anaphase, those spindle fibres, they contract and they pull the chromatids, the sister chromatids, to opposite ends of the cell. So what was once a chromosome, two halves of that chromosome, the chromatids, get pulled to opposite ends of the cell. Uh, finally, We've got telophase, again sketchy animation, sorry. So we can no longer see the chromatids, the nuclear envelope reforms, the nucleolus reforms, 
and the spindle fibers disintegrate and we get the cell division itself occurring. This is called cytokinesis. And if we, we look at the whole, whole lot of cell division, the whole cell cycle, um, we see that basically interphase is massive. So we've got the G1, the growth, first growth phase, the synthesis phase where the DNA is copied, the cells preparing for division, which is the second growth phase, and then only about 25% of the cell cycle is actually the mitosis, the division phase. So one thing that the examiner is quite keen on is your ability to recognize um, the cells in different stages. They might show you an electron micrograph or even a, maybe not an electron micrograph, yeah, uh, I suppose we can't really see a great deal of detail under a, under a light micrograph unless it's quite high high um, magnification. But here we go. Um, there's some diagrams and there's the actual pictures that they came from, the micrographs that they came from. Can you recognize the stages? Well, in this case, it's quite nice because they're in order from this nicely uh, porched Google Images picture. So we've got interphase, where we can't really see anything. Uh, we have prophase. We have metaphase, we have anaphase, and finally, telophase. So, one other thing that we should probably talk about is the big C, cancer. And what causes it? Well, um, cancer is caused by damage to genes which regulate the cell cycle. And this means that cells are going to divide and divide and divide uncontrollably, um, and the cells start to become quite irregular. Um, and these abnormal cell masses, they're called tumours, and they're going to deprive your normal cells, your regular cells, of oxygen, of glucose, of all the things they need, um, because they're quite selfish like that. And that is essentially cancer. So, in summary, uh, mitosis is really important because it allows the growth and replacement of cells. It produces genetic, genetically identical daughter cells. The five stages and what happens in them you need to know, and they are interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And finally, cancer is uncontrolled cell growth, leading to tumours. I hope that's been useful for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.